Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Peachy and this is Plant and Style. This video is part three of my full house plant tour. This isn't planned or anything. This is once again another impromptu video because I was out here and everything is tidy and clean and I figured it was going to be a full plant tour if I didn't show you every house plant that I have under my care. So just to be fair, even though nobody asked, I wanted to show you my house plants outdoors and some of my succulents also although i'm not gonna be specific about it because number one i don't really know their names and number two there's a lot so why not just give you a quick tour of the front yard and all of the house plants that i have on our covered patio I apologize about the noise because like I said we're outside it's inevitable unfortunately without further ado let's get started I have a variety of cacti succulents string of things as well I like to be surrounded by plants that's a hard truth already and I do most of my planters out here when it's not too cold. I like to have a good ambience when I'm doing my plant chores because it makes me feel motivated. <laughs> and yeah, it's just, it's just nice. I like to be surrounded by the things that I love, so. We're starting on this beauty. This is my ficus tineki that I picked up from a local Whole Foods and it is just gorgeous. It's got a little damage but it is looking vibrant out here. This is my little bit dirty Norfolk Island pine that I have used as a Christmas tree indoors over the years but it has finally outgrown its spot so she now lives out here as well and then down here is this vibrant beautiful begonia rex harmony red robin that i bought from a plant purge 2.0 over at facebook and it is gorgeous i can only um, grow begonia outdoors and i don't mind at all as long as they would thrive and look as vibrant as this I truly am grateful and then down here is my poor maiden hair fern that I forgot to tell my husband to wire it while I went back home to the Philippines but it's coming back this is Marge my Pilea Pipermioides and I named her Marge because I wanted to grow the long and tall hair just like Marge Simpson and I think this is the perfect plant for this potter as well and potter with this pot as well so hopefully I'll get there someday and then we have here this is the propagation of my Crassi Petiolata I'll show you the mother plant later this is my Pilea Glauca that I've used on my terrarium. And then this is my Begonia Maculata YDI, another Begonia that prefers outdoors and it's finally branched out. I've had this for years and I wasn't able to grow it indoors so I finally realize that it wants to be out here it's still in pond as you can see because it's happy and it's more manageable to keep it moist this one right here is my tomatophyllum sanadu that has some green sport variegation on one of the stems one of 
the original the original stem has reverted but i bought this with the sport green on green variegation and it loves out here as well yeah i've recently moved it to soil just because it's growing outdoors it's just makes watering easy out here with a hose and then here on my Wally Grow planter, I have a couple of Hoyas. This is the Mama Grassi Petiolata that I showed you the babies out of. And um, we have here the Polynora, just a regular Hoya Polynora or the Fishtail Hoya that is thriving, I must say, out here as well such an easy prolific grower i highly recommend it and then we have this is a gorgeous variegated boston fern and i love ferns i wish it was a little more easy to care for though but by taking it outside in the shade it is staying more vibrant and less crispy so that might be it and then unlike this philodendron billy ata who suffered from last winter unfortunately although it's been out here for a couple of years it hit a bad winter this year sadly this one right here is my hurricane cactus it is a type of ripsalis cruciform i believe i might be more into its name but i can't remember and then here we have this is australis lisa that has reverted and just chilling with billy in there this one whom my daughter calls monster plant is my monkey tail cactus and i just love this plant and i love to touch it just don't stroke it against the the fur so you gotta go with the flow so you don't prick yourself but so so satisfying it has grown a lot it has branched out for me and I'm so glad that he, he is thriving out here, just hanging up there. And it doesn't mind being here at all. So, yeah, very, very happy about that. I probably water this like once a month also, just because it has a great amount of substrate in there. And I don't want it to um, be overwatered somehow and then this is my string of pearls that i receive as a free cutting and it has grown but there's some bald spots here and there i'm probably going to propagate it soon enough and then down here i have another big surprise for me that it was able to survive winter. I've had this outdoors for a couple of years now and it has stopped browning for me. Finally, I am so, so happy. This is looking its best now that it lives out here and it's constantly um, filling up, growing new leaves. So I'm really, really happy about that. And then I have a greenhouse, the mini greenhouse cabinet, the soccer IKEA greenhouse over here. And I'm just trying to acclimate this begonia that I that was a little more uh, on a rehab when I received it. So I'm just worried that it would not have enough humidity since it stayed in the cabinet indoors for a while so hopefully it'll be ready to come out soon and join its other friends 
And then we have my beautiful Hoparsias that I got from the Pacific Orchid Expo last year. And I have immediately placed it here and I kept it in moss in its original substrate. I just added more moss around it, but put it in a um, self-watering pot right here. And I always have um, water nutrient in the reservoir, as you can see. So it's constantly moist. The moss, the substrate is actually alive now from all that nutrients so it is doing just fine and it's getting thicker and fuller so so lush i love this plants i did add a couple more that is still acclimating in the cabinet but i will take it out here soon enough when it's ready this one is a gorgeous variegated bird's nest fern from North Shore Tropicals. This is a sad looking Syndapsis argyreus that I honestly just gave up on um, because it was not looking at its best growing indoors. So I took it out here and it's still alive. So yeah, we'll see what happens. This is just a random spider plant and a random variegated ficus pumilla or the creeping fig i'm not quite sure the common name but yeah i wish i could put this on a wall but not right now i guess and then we have this cutie um string of dolphins that is looking a little more sparse and skinny. So I must have underwatered it at one point. This is a random Hoya fungi yai, and it is alive. <laughs> That's all I can say. And another spider plant that I grew from a spider rat. This is a Hoya Crinkle 8, and I've seen a friend that grows this plant outdoors, so I'm hoping to achieve that and get a fuller plant. This one is a little more pretty. This is my String of Tears. So lush. I definitely love the vibe that these plants are giving my front porch <laughs> and then here we have my diy terrarium my very first terrarium and some plants are thriving like the pilea glauca is doing fine this begonia is doing fine apart from the few melting leaves i have this um peperomia sp columbia right there is okay i guess it just recently grew two leaves little algae ridden definitely could use a refresh and i'm probably going to take out the, that begonia as well and then um what else is over here that is my um which one are you i forgot which one that is i think ut 73 maybe oh no that was low bi oh yeah low bi and that's it for the porch plants house plants that i have successfully acclimated to outdoor but in a covered porch and I do enjoy the vibe. So this is what's going on with the front yard. I have recently trimmed my succulents, actually sent it to my sister-in-law, basically, and my brother-in-law because they wanted to 
plant some on their backyard and I grew all of this. This used to be empty completely. So usually I have a bunch of squirrel playing around, knocking over my pots over here, just like that. So it needs a some major refresh for sure. But yeah, they are definitely growing. It's lush and the weeds are back because of the rain, but I do have yuccas, a couple of yuccas. I have some agave. Um, this is a variegated blue agave. I'm not exactly sure of the scientific name for that, but this is a century agave right here. This is some type of aloe that is blooming and all of these started as a youngster and now they are looking fabulous so yeah it's a little bit messy right now but it is what it is and a few more plants over here this is my ligatus split i don't know uh tomato phylum and uh as you can see it needs some help Got, oh no okay i'll take care of it after this i have the burgundy ficus right there so yeah it's i need some refresh i need to refresh <laughs> some of these i have a monstera under there that i am trying to see if i'm able to grow it outdoor and as you can see they're alive but not exactly growing this tower right here is a neighborhood favorite tower of succulents right there and then this is a eucalyptus that i grew from a seedling this way i have a few cacti as well and some birds of paradise this is the 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 one with the white flower and then we have this is the original the one and only original plant in here that is planted on the ground this is the bird of paradise with the orange flower who is currently blooming right now and then if you come closer you'll see do have all these plants so i have this rick rack cactus i have a booby cactus right here and then i have this variegated amok i don't know exactly what you call it so i have a couple of those that one and this one this one i got as a cutting from etsy i have some gymnocalcium variegated gymnocalcium I think that is this is another cactus that looks the same like that I have a ghost ghost that is that has not moved at all <laughs> and then I have a totem pole behind there hold on let's see if I can show you right there I have a totem pole and then that is my my mermaid tail that has lost its tail from i think i believe a snail maybe but it started melting away so i don't know what happened i don't know exactly what happened so a few more cactus and then this tall guy right here is a blue torch cactus and then this is rat tail cactus there that i mixed in so i'm not very good with my cacti name so my apologies
and that is it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell down below so you'll be notified when my future video drops again thank you all so much i appreciate every single one of you and i hope to see you on my next video bye